Hi everyone, just a quick um, video showing you guys how to do your valve clearances on the Atomic 4, or most engines for that matter. Uh, specs for this motor calls for one tenth on the intake and twelve thousandth on the exhaust valves. You can just barely make it out there. Right, as we know, small valves are always exhaust because hot air flows quicker. The large valves are intake. Now, I've done this on many, many, many motors I've worked on over the years. I don't even follow those complicated tutorials. What you need to understand is a valve goes up and a valve comes down. That's what it does. So, look at the um, lifter on the Atomic 4. This is the, uh, the lifter over here, this big metal body. It's going to push up and down as I rotate the motor. Okay, I'm blocking the light. These, you can see up top here, the valve is on the head, which means that the spring is in its, maybe the resting position. Um, the moment a valve is close to lifting or lifting is where you don't want to set the valve uh, clearance. So basically what you've got to do is rotate the motor until this has gone down. Give it another eighth of a turn or a quarter of a turn on the motor to make sure this is, is not moving at all because sometimes they go down and then they immediately start coming up. You don't want to be setting the valves around that. You want to set the valve after it's pretty much gone down and after turning the motor about an eighth of a turn hasn't moved. Then you can set the valves on that. Um, and that applies to just about any engine ever. So as you can see there, my cylinder one exhaust valve is open but my intake is closed. So I could go in and put the uh, feeler gauge on a ten thousandth on the intake over there and uh, just adjust that nut over there just below the gap until the ten will just slide in without being too loose and uh, that's about it I just wanted to show you the theory behind valve clearances um, I wouldn't get too technical but that's pretty much just the way it is um, Anyways, hope that helps you guys. Thanks.